Hey guys, welcome to the fourth episode of the YouTube Guide series where we're going to be talking about the best microphones for YouTube. As promised, we are going to be talking about all budgets because we're starting at $30 and going all the way to $270 plus. So hopefully this video will accommodate to as many people as possible. Not only that though, we will be talking about USB and XLR options and starting with the USB category. And guys, just keep in mind, almost every mic I talk about, you're going to need a pop filter for, which will add about $10. And some of you might need a stand for some of the select microphones in this list. So just keep that in mind while pricing everything up. So we're just going to go from least expensive to most expensive here. And starting our list off is the Samsung Go Mic which is a portable USB condenser microphone, and it comes in at $30 US, so that's really, really good. So its selling points, I guess you could say, are its USB plug-and-play capabilities on both PC and Mac, um, its compact design, and its good recording quality. Um, so in this form factor, it actually delivers really nice, clear audio, so that's really, really good, especially for its price. So coming up next on our list is the Blue Snowball. So this is another USB um, plug and play microphone that works on both PC and Mac. And it's about $40 to $60 depending on what color you get and where you get it from. Uh, but this is a very popular microphone among YouTubers. You've probably heard of it somewhere or one of your favorite YouTubers probably uses it. Um, so it's very, very good. And the thing that does set it apart from the Samsung Go mic is probably the three three recording modes it has. So it's quite versatile in that aspect and you can change it to kind of a mode that's better for podcasting, a mode that's better for voiceovers, and a mode that's better for music. So it's, yeah, as I said, it's a bit more versatile, but uh, just keep an eye on its prices because they do fluctuate a lot. But overall, I think it's a much better built microphone than the Samsung Go mic, but it's up to you whether it is worth that 20 to $30 more. So we were talking about popularity with the Blue Snowball, but this next microphone definitely takes the prize for the most popular microphone on YouTube. So this is the Blue Yeti, so another microphone from Blue. Now it's still a USB plug and play microphone, and this is actually still under $100 if you go for the silver version rather than the blackout version, which is $7 over 100 so not a huge deal. Now what makes this good is the fact that it has just beautiful studio quality, very clear, right out of the box, right right as you plug it in. Very, very, very good quality. Um, now, again, versatility is a huge part in this microphone because it has multiple pattern selections. You can change it from cardioid, bidirectional, omnidirectional, and stereo. Basically, what this means is you can change it from, if you're recording a voiceover, you just record it to a mode that would record right in front of the microphone, which I believe is a cardioid. But if you're recording a podcast with multiple people around the microphone, you can change it to om omnidirectional, which picks up sound from everywhere around the microphone. So again, versatility is big in this microphone, but you can do that on the Blue Snowball. So what makes this worth the $40 to $50 more? One of the biggest things is the onboard gain control and mute button, which, trust me, is a big deal. My microphone doesn't have it, and I miss it on some of my old microphones. Um, but... What you do have is a zero latency headphone output, which, trust me, is beautiful for monitoring um, audio. I have one on my Rode into one a and I love having that. Because um, if it's, obviously, if you have some latency, it just makes it terribly hard to do voiceovers, because you just hear your voice as you're talking, um, just after you're talking, and it's just, yeah, it just makes it hard. Uh, but yeah, versatility, build quality, and studio audio quality are the three selling points of this microphone, and I would say it is worth the $40 to $50 more than the Blue Snowball. So the next microphone is a tad bit pricey, but I would definitely recommend it if you are in the market for a very, very good USB microphone. So this is the Rode NT-USB. Now, its price is high, but keep in mind it does come with a uh, tripod stand, pop shield, and ring mount. So it's got you covered in that department. Basically what I'm saying is once you unbox it, you're ready to go. It's all you need. You don't need any accessories or anything. Okay, so much like the Blue Yeti, it has on mic mix control, so it has gain switch and uh, headphone output and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, obviously just it's, it's just a high, high quality studio microphone, and I really, really recommend it to you guys because it's just 
beautiful. Now build wise, again, amazing, 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 amazing. You would expect it out of something like this, but it's just incredible, incredible quality. And I'm actually using the XLR version of this microphone pretty much. So um, I wouldn't use this as a test of it, but um, yeah, again, I would recommend this if you can splurge out the money for it, but the Blue Yeti is just as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Overall, there's not much to talk about on it. Just basically, you unbox it and you get studio quality audio. That's all you need to do. Unbox it, plug it in, and you're done. Bang. That's what I'd recommend if you have that money. Um, but yeah. So now we are moving into the XLR category. So the only big issue with these is you're going to need a audio interface. And these can cost a lot of money depending on what one you go for. So you can kind of cheap out on these, but I wouldn't recommend doing that because you do want a decent audio interface. Um, so yeah, just just saying that the microphone isn't the only thing you need. So uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So starting off our XLR category, we have the Audio-Technica AT2020 Cardioid Microphone. Now, it's not the USB version because I know you can get the AT2020 in USB, but the thing about this microphone is it says it's the best price to performance microphone on the Amazon page because it's $99 and you're getting a beautiful XLR microphone but do not believe that because it does not come with an XLR cable, it does not come with a stand, it does not come with a pop filter, it does not come with an audio interface so you're gonna be spending probably I would estimate about $200 to $300 on the mic and all of its accessories so so yeah no it's probably not the best price to performance but in terms of performance, once you have all the gear, it is very, very good. So, it has a very, very wide dynamic range, which is definitely a huge deal in terms of um, high quality microphones. And yeah, I, I would say for $99, even though, again, all the gear, for an XLR microphone, that is a very, very good price. So, I would recommend that if you want to stay slightly on the budget side. Again, I keep mentioning the price of accessories, but. Um, yeah, it's a very, very good high quality microphone that if you are interested in the XLR side of things, then I would recommend this. So, you want the XLR microphone, the best of the best, um, and you want it to work well. Studio quality, yeah. This is what I'd recommend to you. The Rode NT1 Kit Condenser Microphone. So, it comes in at $270 with a um, pop filter and shock mount, but you still need a stand an audio interface and an XLR cable, which will cost a lot of money. I might, I might add, <laughs> the interface is killer. But this is the best. I would completely recommend this. Now you will have seen this probably somewhere on streams or YouTube channels, and you'll just hear how good it sounds. Oh my God, I love this microphone. I really, really, really want it. Now it doesn't have any onboard controls, but that's because the audio interface covers that for you. But yeah. Very, very good. 260 or $70, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's just such a high quality microphone. Amazing reviews. And yeah, this is what I'd recommend if you have the budget to do it. Um, but yeah, that about wraps the video up, guys. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to mention the USB and XLR options, um, kind of from all price range. But we talked about the Samsung Go mic at $30, which I'd recommend if you are on the most budget. And then we talked about the Rode NT1A, which is $270 plus with the whole setup involved. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you out, and uh, I will see you next time. See you guys. I got those two